One year ago, Aaron McCleskey's life ended after a pack of dogs mauled her to death. It all unfolded as she was serving legal papers at a Manor home. But one year later, the dogs responsible are still alive, leaving many with questions. How are these animals still alive despite a judge's order to have them euthanized? Our Jenny Lee has more from our newsroom on this story. Jenny? Creed and Mike, under a court order, the dogs have remained at the Austin Animal Center since that deadly attack in mid-June of 2016. One of those dogs died this past summer of heartworms, according to the dog owner's attorney. Now, you are probably wondering, how can those dogs still be alive after killing a person? The simple answer is this huge stack of papers. I think Cave, you got a hold of this video of the dogs in question being cared for inside the Austin Animal Center, eating treats and interacting with the vet, just like anyone's pet, not like killer animals, which is what Eric Torverson wants us to see. He's the attorney trying to save their lives. I want the dogs to have due process in court, and I want them to prove that all the dogs killed her if they're going to try to euthanize them. According to the Travis County Sheriff's Office, these are the dogs responsible for mauling Erin McCleskey to death in June of 2016 when she was serving papers at a Manor home. It's very sad a human being died. She chose to trespass on the property. She jumped a locked gate. Torbison believes in this cause so much he is doing it for free. He worries about the welfare of the dogs. He says being kept locked up all the time isn't good for their well-being. Claire Carter agrees with him. She is a former prosecutor. For something to have gone on for over a year and animals be forced to live that way is inhumane. But that's where the agreement ends. Carter says trying to save the dog's lives through the lengthy appeals process is a waste of time. She says the state's job is to try to keep the community safe. That's why she ultimately believes the dogs will be put down. It's fairly ridiculous. They have bypassed the procedures that were put in place to expedite this process so that animals didn't have to suffer unnecessarily. According to the city of Austin, it costs approximately $39.75 to care for one dog per day. Since the court ordered the dogs to stay at the Austin Animal Center, we estimate that caring for the dogs have cost Austin and Travis County taxpayers roughly $116,000 so far. And with the new trial date set for late November, that figure is only set to go up. Aaron McCleskey's parents sent us this statement. It reads in part, when no mercy was shown to our daughter, how can mercy be given to these animals? They took her innocent life, yet they continue to live theirs. It's hard to believe that the dogs are still alive and a constant reminder to us of what they did. We are closely following these events with disbelief, both for the fact that the process is still ongoing and for the amount of time and money being spent on their behalf. Now, the new trial is set for November 27th. Back to you.